Good morning, dear students. Today I am going to discuss one of the topics for class 10. My topic is reproduction in flowering plants. As you know that the reproductive part of flower, of reproductive part of plant is flower. Reproductive part of plant is flower. So flower is a reproductive part of plant. When the plant gets mature, it produces flower for the sexual reproduction. Flower, actually flower is a modified tool and it takes part in reproduction. It is a modified tool and it takes part in reproduction. This is a longitudinal section of a typical flower. Each typical flower has four parts. There are four parts per in each typical flower. The first part is carry. Second part is corolla, third part is ambrosium, and fourth part is gametium. The unit of carry is staple, the unit of corolla is peter, the unit of ambrosium is stamen, the unit of gametium is carpet. Here is the diagram of a typical flower. So this is called staple. This is called staple. This structure is called pater. This structure is called pater. This structure is called a stamen and this structure is called carpet. Actually, this structures are placed on a solid part of the flower. That solid part of the flower is called hair. And it is attached with a long stalk like a structure that stalk like a structure is called pedicel. So this is the longitudinal section of a typical flower. Now I like to discuss the function of all these parts. Actually carrot is a small leaf like a structure. It is green in color and its function is its function is protection. It protects the flower when it is in bird stage. Second function of carriage, it takes part in photosynthesis. Because it is green in color, it contains chlorophyll, photosynthetic pigment. That's why it takes part in photosynthesis. Now, functions of corolla. Corolla is also leaf like a structure and it is brightly colored and it helps in pollination it helps in pollination some flowers have pleasant smell due to pleasant smell they are able to attract the insects for pollination now second is second function is the, second function is also protection because petals protect the essential organs of flowering plant. Now we have a talk about essential and essential organs. Here, carry and corolla, these two are essential organs of flower. These two are essential organs. And these two are essential organs. This because endosium is called male part of the flower and dynosium is called female part of the flower. Now, the function of a stamen, a stamen it is the third pole of the flower and it is the male reproductive organ and it produces pollen cells. I have already told you that androsium is a male reproductive organ of the flower and it produces male gamete and the male gamete is Pollen grain. Now, the innermost core of the flower is dynosium, and its unit is called carpel. And carpel is a female reproductive organ, it produces ovule. Ovule is a female gamete. Now, these are the 
different parts of the flower and their function. Now, types of flower on the basis of sex organs. On the basis of sex organs, there are two types of flowers. First one is unisexual flower and second one is bisexual flower. Unisexual flower and bisexual flower. Unisexual flower has only one type of sex organ. Either male or female sex organ they have. It means either they have endosium or endosium. Bisexual flower, they have both kinds of sex organs. Male and female, both kinds of sex organs they have. Some examples of the unisexual flower, you can read watermelon. These are the examples of unisexual flower. Now, examples of bisexual flower, mustard, hibiscus, they are the example of example of bisexual flower. Now, types of plants on the basis of pervasions of unisexual and bisexual plants. There are two types of plants on the basis of pervasions of unisexual and bisexual flower. If the plants have both kinds of unisexual flower, either male, male and female, that plant is called monoecious plant. It means they have both kinds of flower, both male and female flower they have. For example, that is male. Now, diverses plant, they have bisexual flower, it means, uh, sorry, diverses plant, they have only one kind of flower. They have only one kind of flower. Either they have male flower or female flower. That plant is called diverses because on the basis of presence of flower, they are called male plant or female plant. For example, palm, papaya. Either the plant, they have either male flower or the female flower. Now, sometimes flower, plant produces clusters of flower. Sometimes they produce clusters of flower. In the axis, many flowers produce for them. That is called the cluster of flower. That cluster of flower is called inflorescence. Actually, what is the inflorescence? Inflorescence is an axis. Inflorescence, can you have a definition here again? An axis bearing a cluster of flower is known as inflorescence. Can you see this one? एक एक्सिस पर ढेर सारे फ्लावर लगे हुए हैं तो जब ढेर सारे फ्लावर लगे हुए हैं उसको हम लोग कहते हैं इनफ्लोरेसेंट कई 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 बस सिंगल फ्लावर होता है एक फ्लावर होता है नॉट ओवरऑल द फंक्शन ऑफ फ्लावर दीज आर द फंक्शन ऑफ फ्लावर द फर्स्ट इज इट बेयर मेल एंड फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गेन इट टेक्स पार्ट इन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इट टेक्स पार्ट इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फ्रूट एंड सीड्स दीज आर द फंक्शन ऑफ फ्लावर इस वीडियो में इतना ही तक नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम लोग इसके आगे का डिस्कस करेंगे थैंक यू सर